know the game, know the game, know the game. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can join the notification game and never miss an upload. Me and Williams in there, the former Dolphin. Mahomes, Cannon, touchdown, Chris Conley. The Chiefs strike quickly. From the board, that was a laser shot for Mahomes. Well, all he sees is that the, the big body gets a, the Hawkin catch of the season, his second career touchdown reception. And there's that bullet. Ball. Punt shifts to the other side of Mahomes. Mahomes looking downfield. Fires. Travis Kelsey. Touchdown. Tremendous grab by Kelsey. Okay. Punt Stop the right the there. Down. You see how Travis Kelsey was able to get open right there? That's what we're going to talk about today. Field fires. Travis Kelsey. The Chiefs have had a crazy explosive offense these past two weeks, especially against the Steelers where Patrick Mahomes threw for six touchdowns. They were attacking left. They were attacking right. They were attacking deep. They were attacking short. They were attacking the Steelers any which way they wanted to, at least for the first two quarters. But what I'm really here to focus on is on how Chris Conley and Travis Kelsey scored those first two touchdowns. And they did it by mainly attacking the seam. Now, what is the seam? It's mostly connected to cover three, and the seam is an area of the zone, or at least the area of the cover three, where it's above the linebackers, but in between the safeties and the corners. So it's kind of like a soft tender spot in the zone that's mostly open when you run a conventional cover three. Now, what does that mean for my channel? You know, I'm mostly a Madden channel. I'm not normally breaking down game film and NFL film. Well, there's a way that we can connect the way the Chiefs were able to score their first two touchdowns with another way you can attack the red zone and Madden. Let's jump into practice mode so you can see what I'm talking about. So here we are in practice mode and we are also in the Chiefs playbook. Now, there's a bunch of different ways that you can attack the seams, especially in the red zone to score. But the formation, I, I have something out of tight slot, but we're not going to use that right now. We're going to use something else. We're going to use the spread slot. As you can see here, my slot receivers are Chris Conley and Travis Kelsey. Let's come out in just the regular four verticals. Now, the seam is mainly open against cover three, but you can find open sometimes against cover four. But we're going to focus on cover three. Uh, we'll go random cover three so we can't predict it. And so this is what, you know, the, the play that we selected, the four verticals looks like. And how I attack the seams in the red zone is I just simply put my guys in the slot on streaks. And how you do that is you press triangle or Y, you're going to select Kelsey, which is X, and then you're going to press up on the left D-pad or the left stick for a streak. You see how his route changed? This was his route before. It was kind of curved, but once you put him on the streak, he goes straight. And we're going to do the same thing for Chris Conley. Triangle or Y, Chris Conley is triangle, and put him on the streak. Now, I mean, that's simply it. That's the only route. That's the way we're going to attack the seams. Now, in the cover three, you're going to see that there's a free safety back there to cover the middle third of the field. And then you have the two corners on the outside covering the outside thirds. But there's no one to cover the inside quarters or the inside thirds, if you want to even call them that. There's no one to, to protect the insides. So when I snap this ball and these two guys go to the back of the end zone, they're going to they're gonna be open for high point passes. And how you throw these high point passes is you hold L1 or LB and then you uh, throw a bullet pass to whatever receiver. So let's say I want to throw a high pass to Kelsey. You just hold L1 or LB and then throw it to Kelsey. And the way I do it is I wait till they get to the back of the end zone. Because you see how Chris Conley stopped when he got to the back of the end zone. Let's go ahead and look at that. When you run streaks like this, instead of keep going and going to the back of the end zone, what they do is they simply they just run to straight to the back of the end zone and they kind of like stop and turn around. So you see here, we go and run it again. When he comes to the back of the end zone, he just stops here. He doesn't, he, he moved a little bit to the left, but essentially he stayed in the same spot. Now, I mean, who can get him? The safety can't get him in the outside corners too far over here, especially if we throw a high pass. He's, he's in the back of the end zone by himself. And that's what you want. And we can do the same thing with Travis Kelsey on the other side. Let's go ahead and set it up. I'm, I just max protect just to provide, my, provide myself with a little bit extra blocking. But you see here, now we're going to the, uh, the right side. Oh, wow, we missed the pass. But you see, there was no one in the way of Kelsey getting that ball. Mahomes getting a little inaccurate there. Show, show me the same thing you had on Sunday, player. There we go, same just like that. We dropped the pass, but my point is we're able to attack the seams without fear of getting picked off. That's the important thing here. You sit there and wait. 
just like that. There we go. Let's see if we can get a touchdown to Kelsey. Let's see if we can get a touchdown to Kelsey. We got two TDs to Conley. I mean, we're not getting picked off. We're not getting really that too many batted balls that could get tipped and picked. We're just getting clean passes. There we go. There go Kelsey one. But that's how we attack the seams. At least that's how I attack the seams from the co against the cover three or in the red zone. I just throw my players on streaks and then wait till they get to the back of the end zone and stop and throw a high pass. And this was inspired by the Chiefs offense this past Sunday. I appreciate you guys showing up. This is a this is a new type of video for me, man. I've never done like breakdown of real NFL schemes. It was like a simplistic breakdown, but it was a breakdown nonetheless and then implemented into Madden. What do you guys think about that? You guys think about maybe putting out some of the, the top 10 players or some of the best players from the week and then breaking them down and try to put them in Madden, try to show you guys how to do them in Madden. I, I don't know. I, I kind of like this in my opinion because I like, I like football, the real stuff, and I like Madden, obviously. That's my whole channel's about. But if you guys like this content too, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you like this content in general. See you guys around next time. Peace.